Hello everybody, my name is Sir Waffle Gaming, and welcome to World of Warships. This is a really cool game, and it's about, you know, you getting in a ship, uh, and fighting with each other with ships. It's... If you've ever played World of Tanks or War... or... World of Tanks or War of Warplanes, I think, then it's practically that, just with boats. <laughs> boats with massive guns on them. And plated with iron. Um... So, this is basically my, uh... All the ships I have in my port, I have the St. Louis, South Carolina. This is the only battleship I have. I haven't ranked up for Russia or Germany much, but I'm actually getting really fond of this German ship. I have no idea why, but I just love the way it looks. And this Russian ship looks like it looks like it was just patched together. It's just so janky. I mean, look at that. This looks like they ran out of like metal beams to cover the edges and they had to like put wood here and it was like ah shit we ran out of metal <laughs> oh my god it's probably for lifeboats or something I have no idea and there's a lifeboat right here they got a motorboat as a lifeboat that's we we can tell where they put most of their attention so um this just looks really janky and patched together and stuff and the cannons move really slow well let me check they don't actually mention it here but I really like the way anything German looks really, really good. I mean, this looks like it was properly built. The U.S. this, this uh, the U.S. one. Uh, granted, this is tier one, but the U.S. one looks like it has um, 14 feet of iron just covering all sides. Um, if you want a quick rundown of the ships, I think the U.S. basically has slightly more armor and more artillery than Japanese ships. The US tier and the Japanese tier are the only ones that are completely made. This one they just added recently. Did they did they update it at all? Did they add more ships? No, all you have are cruisers and two destroyers that you have to pay for. So there's not really much to offer for those ships, but I, I think I'm gonna actually play as the uh, German ship for my first battle. And there's no specific reason why I'm playing this game other than I've been playing it a lot recently. And it's a really good game. If you haven't gotten this game, then you should really try it out. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but most of the ships that I play as are uh, cruisers. Because I just like the, um, the combat style of a cruiser. The destroyers, you have to get really up close and personal. Because you have to, like, shoot them down. Not shoot, uh... You have to like launch torpedoes at your enemy, and uh, I think that's like way too close for comfort, especially when you um, going against the cruiser, because cruisers and stuff, their guns they move semi decently fast, and they are plentiful in guns, especially the uh, the St. Louis, because the St. Louis is literally the definition of all right, we need guns, let's make a ship that consists only of guns. That's basically what the St. Louis is. It is this overpowered tier 3 monstrosity on the US side. Oh my gosh. But yeah, it can be really dangerous going up against a cruiser because destroyers don't have a lot of armor. And if you and if you're not accurate with your torpedoes into destroyer, then you can get severely just done. You can just get wrecked. You might go there. And um Cruisers, they're kind of like the best of all worlds. They have a decent amount of armor, they have they have a lot of guns, and the guns do somewhat decent damage. I mean, depending on what ship you actually take. And... Okay, I'm just ranting, so um, let me just put it in simpler terms. Having a destroyer is like having an SMG and just running everywhere. Um, being in a cruiser is like uh, having a sniper like the intervention in Call of Duty or something I don't know you're just like a sniper you just kinda like back off and stuff and those that, and that's where destroyers are really useful they're very useful against battleships because battleships they cannot turn their guns for shit and they're not made for close quarters combat they are made to blow shit up at a distance cruisers are designed to blow shit up at medium range can I actually get him from there I lost sight of him because he's in the fog, but if I actually get a hit, I'm going to be so happy. Well, there's a guy across this mountain who's getting too close for comfort. Jesus, what are you doing? 
Can I? Now that'd be stupid. I thought I could shoot over the mountain. Like my gun would be smart enough to do that. Nah. What's going on over here? I mean, he's just out of my range. I think I have like 9 kilometer range with this ship. I have no idea. I haven't checked. But there is this destroyer over here that's getting really close. So yeah, destroyers really close to the water, long and slippery little fuckers. Oh, there's like one that's right here, like three kilometers away. I'm gonna slow down, and I'm going to- oh, it's another destroyer, piece of shit. I'm gonna go for armor penetrating, because I'm- because I think I'm aiming close to his citadel. Oh, I knocked out one of his guns! There you go. You can do a lot of damage with the AP, AP means armor penetrating. Shit. There you go, see that? Literally destroyed in like two hits with armor penetrating. You have to aim at a very specific place. When you have AP rounds, you have to aim for like sort of the middle of the ship, like the hull. So you have to, it's like a very specific place you have to shoot for. Otherwise, you're not going to do that much damage. Like I only hit him for um, 300 with that one round. So you have to be very, very accurate with an AP round. And there's a lot of leading in this game and stuff. Oh, that might actually... You see, that shot did like 2,200 damage. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to aim for a citadel, and if you guys don't know what a citadel is, it's kind of like the area underneath the smokestacks. Because basically the area underneath the smokestacks is the engine. And if you can get, get like an AP round through the engine, it's basically like getting a bullet and just shooting it through the engine. A massive bullet and just shooting it through the engine. It's just gonna destroy this ship. And I am just dealing massive amounts of damage. He doesn't have a lot of health left. If I can get one well-placed shot with an AP round, it'll be all over for this guy. Come on! Shoot at the right freaking place. That one was semi-decent. There you go. That was that was it. That was the money maker. All right. So I'm gonna switch to HE because I'm at a distance and I'm not gonna be that accurate. So where are torpedoes? I don't see them. Oh, that's a friendly torpedo that just went off. <laughs> so so basically, like the entire map. Stuck in the freaking... Oh, you sad, sad soul. You poor, poor soul. Oh my gosh, she... Oh my gosh, it was like putting a dog down with him. Of all the people you could shoot, me? Well, that actually makes sense. I'm not waiting for... Her. Actually, no, number three is pretty close. What are you? I don't know what your ship... Oh, he has the exact same ship I have. I was so confused by his name. This guy like has our entire team just shooting at the sun. Oh my gosh. Fam, you better not be shooting torpedoes at me. Torpedo, direct front. Who the shit shot torpedoes at me? Oh, I destroyed him before the torpedoes hit me. I didn't even realize. Oh my gosh. But I like, with this one tier one ship, I think that was an AI or something, I have no idea. If that was an AI, I really didn't care, but I got like three ships destroyed, 73 target hits. Oh, I got one hit on the Citadel, I think that was the one yellow thing I missed when I was shooting that guy. But Citadel hits, man, they deal damage. Like if you see on this icon, this area is the engine room and that's definitely where you want to hit. Because the engine room has the offset chance of exploding internally and killing the thing in just one shot. Not one shot, but dealing tons of damage. So that was just one um, random game with the uh, Hermelin. The Hamelin? Hermelin? I don't know. Uh, so this is the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna play as a battleship. I really don't like playing the battleship. I only play the battleship occasionally. Out of all the times I've played, I've only gotten one kill with the goddamn thing. I mostly play with the St. Louis. And here's why I say the St. Louis is overpowered. Because as you can see, it has one... I think that's two. 
No, that's not. So it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 guns. And there's also all of this shit on this side. So at any given moment, you have about 16 to 11 um, just guns aiming in one direction. So yeah, we have 14... <laughs> 52 millimeter um, cannons and we have 18 76 millimeter cannons and this is just the most overpowered thing ever I'm actually gonna play a game with it just to show you how overpowered this, this ship is it is just impossible and one thing I really like about this game is that it you can you can go balls deep if you want to and Depending on how well you go balls deep, you can get rewarded or you can just get knocked the fuck out. Uh, w one thing I really want to see in this game, they haven't done this with World of Warplanes or World of Tanks, and I don't think they're ever going to do this, but I would be so happy if they did a team deathmatch style to this. Like, this is, what we have right now is team deathmatch, it's like one team versus another team, but what I mean is, instead of like, being knocked out of the game when you die I want it so that you can respawn but with a different ship I think they have that in world in war of warplanes I think they actually have that mechanic I completely forgot about that but I really want that in this game I really wish they had that in this game because just imagine just being able look at all the guns I have this is just sad if you look down in the corner with my compass, you can see how many freaking guns I have. It's just satanic. So, looking at it, I see two ways of going here. You have to be somewhat strategical about this. So, I'm pretty sure mostly battleships and stuff. Do we have any battleships? No, we mostly have cruisers and an aircraft carrier. And that's about it. Is that an aircraft carrier? Yeah, that's an aircraft carrier because that's a... Uh, a squadron of planes over there so we have three destroyers three uh, four cruisers and one aircraft carrier it might be a team against AIs because it's so balanced or maybe not maybe this game is just that good that they balanced everything just like that do not underestimate how good this game is when I say they're like AI matches right if you just start the game there are AI matches but the AI is so good. It is the best AI system I think I've ever seen. But it's like, they behave like real, they behave strategically. They're tricky and they're cunning and they know how to mess with your mind and stuff. They're like real players. The AI is like real players. They behave like real players. And when I mean real players, I mean they're not idiots like real players. I mean... They're strategic like real players, and that's just brilliant. I have no idea. So just... So judging by their names, um... Yeah, I think they might be AIs. Oh no, they might not be AI, I have no idea. I haven't checked the names of any AI players, so... This is what my ship looks like. There you go. It's very clear where my citadel is, and you know, just I want you to look at my ship, and I want you to look at the edges of the ship, like, like I think they're called the stern and bow, and I want you to look at the center. The center looks really armored. Just look at that. the The center of my ship is slanted to like reduce the damage, and man, <laughs> that's that's how deadly a uh, citadel shot can be. Okay, so this. Aren't they going in a different direction than me? Okay, I guess I really don't have to care about that. Before I go balls deep, where is all of my... Where's all my teammates? There's one guy there and there's ships there, so... I think I'm just going to help this fam right here. Let's go. Let's go. Nope. I've got my own fish to fry. Somewhere. There you go. He didn't know he was messing with the St. Louis, didn't he? Shit. 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 This is not very good. 
Nothing good is happening right now. It's just so many freaking destroyers! Jesus Christ! Look at all these torpedoes! I'm ah, oh, I'm so dead. I am so dead. Turn left, turn left, turn left. I can barely narrowly escape that! Oh my god, I am so good. Freaking frick off! Jesus Christ, just shove off. There you go. Incapacitation set on fire. Fuck you. Oh my gosh. And I also have all of those mini cannons just going ham. Look at this. Look at this. This is a St. Louis. This guy is just dead. This guy is done. He was done in like three seconds. That's how deadly the St. Louis is. Shit. It's been. It's nice knowing you, fam. It was nice knowing you. Okay, I'm gonna use my consumable. Stop with the torpedoes! Jesus Christ! Oh, this is another St. Louis, or is it? I have no idea. It's a, yeah, it is a St. Louis. So, I'm going to be meeting my maker today. I'm gonna go with AP shots. Maybe I can, like, aim for his citadel. Okay. I'm taking a really huge gamble with this citadel attempt. Yes! Look at the damage! Look at the damage! Look at the damage! Look at the destruction of that guy's ship! This is what AP rounds can do when they're well placed. Holy shit, he doesn't have much health left. Just another round of shots. There you go! He's dead! I'm gone ham! Jesus Christ, this guy is right next to me. Oh my god, aim everything! Aim everything! <laughs> aim everything! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I I'm on fire, I can't do anything. Oh my god! Oh my god, 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 oh my god! Yes! How am I still alive? I'm freaking clutching my life through all of this. Oh, what's going on? Got my engine damaged? No, I'm just on fire. I'm just on fire. Oh my god. All that's left is the aircraft carrier and just one missing ship. Problem solved, sir. Oh my god. I practically blew all of your guys' ears out, but that was just so intense. How did I loop through that? How did I loop through that? I have no idea. Oh god. He's shooting at me. I didn't realize it. I was too busy praying to Jesus about how much I'm thanking him for saving my ship. Oh my god, that was so good. AP rounds are not going to do anything. I'm dead. I'm d I just know I'm dead. I'm accepting my, my death. But dude, that was just so epic. He's gonna run into an island. You idiots, you ran into an island. That's just going to make my life easier. Look at this. This I'm aiming at a completely different direction. That was that was some bad shooting on my part. But this guy is so dead. If I can kill this guy this low health, if I can get four kills, I swear to god is going to be the greatest game I've ever had. He's stuck on an island and he's not moving at all. Look at this, look at all this damage. These like 1,000 shots. Oh shit, he's getting some of that shit on me. He's getting some of that shit on me. Oh Jesus. Come on fam. Come on. Come on! Come on! Oh, just one shot, one shot's all I need. There you go, he's dead! Yes! 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 I got four kills that match. I set, I got like two set on fire, five incapacitations, and almost a hundred on target shots. This is the St. Louis, guys. This is the St. Louis. What are my stats? Because I don't think I've upgraded this ship. I think I've fully upgraded this ship. Have I? Hold on. What's modules? I think I've, yeah, I fully upgraded this ship, and I can... I think if I research this, how many research points do I have? I have no idea. 
Can I research this? Oh, I need 3,000 more um, research points uh, before I can buy this ship. I don't know if you guys know, but money-wise, a uh, helpful tip for you guys who might be watching and are starting to play because of me, or you're just, um, I don't know, new to it in general. So credits, credits are shared throughout all of your tiers, all of your classes, right? Like your US, um, your Soviet Union, your Japanese, or whatever, Russia. I forgot what it was. Was it the Soviet Union back then? It, it was the, what, it, I think it was the Soviet Union. Um, I'm not ignorant, please, please don't hate me. Uh, but yeah, money is shared throughout all of these um, classes, all the nations credits but research points is reserved for one um, class or nation only so the US has its own um, research point stuff and the more sh time you play with US ships the more research points you can get for upgrading your ships and getting better ones um, the Soviet Union has their own research points the, uh, the Japanese have their own and the Germans have their own what did the Germans have? They only have cruisers. What's this? Oh, research. Oh, I can go up to the tier two um, cruisers for. Hmm. Can I just point something out? Tier four German ships has thirty six artillery, right? If I go back to my port. Uh. This tier 3 US ship has 37. And then, like, let me go to the other, uh, the Japanese. The Japanese, right? This is the only other fully spec'd out one. So if I comb through this... No. Go back to the tech tree. This one has 29. 32. 50. Wait, it went from 32 to 50? Jesus Christ, so... 32, a tier 4 Karuma is basically the equivalent. But dude, it makes the most massive jump ever. Like 32 to 50. How big is this ship? I've, I've heard that the Yamato is the biggest ship in the game. Oh my god, it is. This is the Yamato. Is it the Yamato or the Yamata? I don't know, but this is the biggest ship in the game. It comes with its own... Squadron of planes, that's how big this shit is. Oh my god. You have like, ooh, little baby, and then you have this giant fucker here, and you have little baby, little baby, um, giant fucker, and um, his best friend, um, motherfucker. Uh, but Jesus Christ, all of this stuff is just. I just love the intricacy of this. Like the first um, two games, War of Warplanes and World of Tanks, they were okay games, but I never got into them. This game is really good. I was thinking about playing a game with the South Carolina, but I think I'll save that for another video since I'm running for about 25 minutes here. So I want to. Th there was really no purpose in me making this video. I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna make a series out of it. I just really wanted to make a video out of this, and I'm so glad I did. That freaking match with the St. Louis. I freaking went Rambo. Oh my god. But I highly recommend you guys check this game out. It is brilliant. I am by far, I am no way by far an expert in this game, but I am just really into this stuff. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video and sticking with me for the almost 30 minutes that I've been running. If you made it to this far, great. Um, so I've been so awful gaming, and I'll see you guys in my next video.